the show. Well, tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and sure, going out to a restaurant is great and all, but spoiler alert, if you don't have a reservation yet, you're probably not getting one. But honestly, who cares? Personally, I love a cozy Valentine's dinner at home. So when Alicia wrote to us for help making her husband a romantic dinner, we sent my bud, Andrea Bucket, to help make it extra special. Hi Mary, Valentine's Day is just around the corner and sometimes there's nothing more romantic than cooking your loved one a home cooked meal. High school sweethearts Alicia and Michael have been together for 20 years, but cooking hasn't always been part of their love story. This year, I'm here to help Alicia cook a meal for Michael that'll knock his socks off. Alicia? Andrea! Hi! So nice to meet you. Come Let's on in. Do it. So my name's Alicia, I'm a mom of two and a wife to my husband for 20 years. Valentine's Day, it's not necessarily about gifts, so I would love to surprise him with a home cooked meal. I don't know if he'll believe me that I made it, but I'm, I'm ready to try. So I hear Michael's favorite dish is chicken parmesan. It is, it is. Um, Have you made it for him before? I made it one time using frozen chicken strips. Ooh. Yeah. Didn't turn out? He, no, he knew. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect, the most delicious chicken parmesan for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited. Great, let's get started. So Alicia's really not that comfortable in the kitchen, so my goal is to get her to a place where she feels comfortable, she can make the meal, and it feels like it's effortless to her. Yes. Like, this is like cutting like butter. There you go. Maybe you need to sharpen your knives, Alicia, too. That's, or, yeah. <laughs> I definitely sliced that chicken the best I've ever sliced a chicken. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever sliced a chicken before. So before okay. we bread it, we're just gonna wash our hands. So for the chicken, we're gonna do a classic breading. We are going to whip up some eggs, we're gonna season some breadcrumbs and some flour, and we're gonna start by dipping the chicken fillets into the flour, just to dry them off a little bit. So I like to use different forks so all of the ingredients don't mix and match, and you're, you're gonna end up with a lot of clumps if you do that. Good tip. All right, now that they're breaded, we're gonna go on over to the uh, stove and we're going to fry them up. So far, I think I've got a good uh, hang on it. Okay, I think it's ready to flip, so start at this side. Whoa, Whoa. yes, that is exactly what you're looking for. Perfectly golden brown. When that's done, we're gonna put them in a baking tray, cover them with delicious marinara sauce, and of course, some mozzarella. Don't forget the Parmesan. Oh, it's so fluffy. I've never dealt with uh, fresh Parmesan. <laughs> Amazing. So that's gonna go into the oven. I'm gonna get you to do that. 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes until the cheese is ooey gooey and everything's bubbling. While the chicken's in the oven, I'm gonna teach Alicia how to make a classic Caesar salad. So we're going to make this delicious mayonnaise style dressing. I'm gonna get you to start by chopping up some garlic, but you could also use a garlic press if you like, which is easier for people. Do you like anchovies? Because I know some people aren't the biggest fans. I don't even know what an anchovy is. Okay, so an anchovy is a little fish. Okay. And it's brined and salted and it adds a, a punch of umami to the salad dressing. You really can't have a classic Caesar salad with a, without a little anchovy. We do have some egg yolks in the bowl, and the egg yolks is what's gonna help to emulsify this dressing. Let's add our other flavoring. I can't believe how the anchovies are Yeah, they just kinda disappear. I had no idea what was really involved in making a Caesar salad, because in the past, I've just bought the fanciest jar of Caesar dressing. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Right? Mm. Delicious. Just to add a little extra flair. All right. Mm. Mm. Good, right? Can we eat the whole bowl? I think we can. I mean, don't tell Michael, but I think we're gonna eat this entire bowl. All right. Um. We're going to serve the chicken with a beautiful fresh tagliatelle with marinara sauce and just a touch of butter to make it a little bit richer. I love choosing a fresh pasta because it just has a different bite. It's tender and delicious, and it really does say I love you. Our chicken parm should be ready in the oven. It's time to serve this up. Wow, that looks amazing. And you're just gonna grab a whole bundle of noodles. And when you set them down, you're just gonna give it a little twist. Boys, look how big these are. And that's half of a chicken breast. Exactly. Did your husband have a big appetite? Well, he sure does. Perfect. I think I can definitely make this meal on my own. I may need to like text Andrea. I don't even know if I can do that. <laughs> but I think I've got it. I think I'm ready. Mmm, mmm. Oh, very hot. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm so excited to make it on my own. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Okay. Leave you to it. Good luck. Thank you. Mm. So good. <laughs> way too much fun together. We did. Yeah, yes. absolutely. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. It was excellent. I, I know we're here to talk about food and Valentine's Day, but can we please talk about your cat for a second? <laughs> I know. He's so sweet. What's his name? Bear. Bear. Excellent so name sweet. for a cat. Oh yes. my gosh. I would have not cooked that day. I would have just played with your cat. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. They had fun with yeah. it. <laughs> he was hopping in all their camera oh, stuff. Oh my God, that's so good. There's yeah. so many things to get into yeah. on a set. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now Alicia, I heard you made this dinner for Michael on your own without the guiding hand of Andrea Bucket there. I did, but, I, yeah? I think I did pretty good. Okay, let's take a look at how this went. Okay, Mary, tonight is the night that I made Andrea's chicken parm, fresh pasta and Caesar salad. I am so excited to see if Mike likes it. What do you think? This is good. Is she available a couple more times during the week? <laughs> Thank you, Mary and Andrea, for helping me make this Valentine's Day dinner super special. After 20 years, I can finally say I made a delicious home cooked meal. Yes, it, it turned out pretty perfect. Yeah, and, and Michael, let me tell you, that is very similar to how my husband responds. <laughs> I'm always like, how is it? He's like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, thank you. So did Alicia do a good job? She did great. Yeah, is this now like a go-to on, uh, on the old menu? Hopefully if she can keep that up there. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work, like more than I'm used to, yeah, but right. I can, I can. But it's a special yeah. meal, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And like you said, I love the fact that you're taking one chicken breast, slicing it in half, so you're basically feeding like a double the people yeah. with half the food, yeah. which is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So then you get leftovers. You know what I do with leftover chick farm? Make a sandwich the next day. Ooh, Ooh yes, what right. a treat right. that That's is. <laughs> yeah. Well, the best way to end a Valentine's Day meal is with a little bit of dessert. And Andrew, you're not going to let us not have dessert, right? I would not do that to anybody. No, no of course. Let's do something okay, what fun. are we making? We're going to do a lemon lover shortbread. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's really tasty, really easy to pull together. And instead of making individual cookies, yeah. we're going to do it in a, a baking dish like this. So it it's a lot easier, it comes nice. really quickly. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna start in our bowl, like any typical sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. We've got some butter and some granulated sugar. Beautiful. Uh, honestly, I'm always scared of working these on live. <laughs> I know, there we go. I did it. Machines never work on television, let me Maybe tell you. Not. No. All right, so it's creaming together your butter and granulated sugar. Mary, can you pop in one A? Perfect, now just a room temp egg. Yeah, ideally at room temperature because if it's cool, what happens is the butter starts to like solidify yeah. and it looks funky. Yeah. We don't want that. So that already looks delicious. Yeah, so we're gonna go in, with a little bit of uh, salt. Ooh, salt, okay, Let's cool. Salt, some baking powder. Do we want a little? Oh, Let's do some lemon juice and lemon zest. Okay, perfect. Zest it up, this is where all that flavor. Listen, I talk about this all the time on the show. If everyone is not using that lemon zest, oh. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. You're throwing <laughs> money out. And I will tell you, honestly, I love zesting right into the bowl because what that does is all the oils that shoot mm. out from this little baby right into your mix. 100%. All that flavor's going in those cookies. All right, now, what's this here? Okay, so that's lemon extract. We're going to put in there just to amplify that oh, lemon okay. flavor. I love that. But you could, the great thing about sugar cookies is you could really put whatever you want in there. If you want chocolate chips, go for it. Yeah. You know, little toffee bits, go for it. Ooh. It really it's a blank canvas. That sounds amazing. All right, last but not least, this is dangerous. Here, by that. Let's turn it that. Off. We figured it out. Yeah. We're professional We're cooks. Professional. We know how things work. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put in the flour. It's about a cup and three quarters. Perfect. And then some baking powder. Mm -hmm. And okay, let's just starting out slow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you could switch to a spoon for this. But ideally, you just want to pull this together until all the ingredients come together. And you don't need to overmix it mm -hmm. because once you bake it in the pan, it really is just going to come together. But you can see that's almost where we are. It is. Now, Andrea, you are like, you are, everything Andrea Bucket makes is amazing. Like, Thank you. I feel like present company can all agree with that. Yeah. But you don't typically make a lot of dessert. So this is going to, you can guarantee this is going to be an easy dessert to make. Easy. That's yeah. all, that's that's my motto when it comes to desserts. Totally. It's going to be easy because desserts can actually take a lot of time. I like to focus on the main. Yeah. Which we did. Yeah. And you pulled off so amazingly. I know, it was Thank beautiful. You. So maybe, Michael, this is your gig, right? The dessert? I can attempt. You can. <laughs> <laughs> now, have either of you baked before? I, again, I try. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Michael? 
Uh, no, no. No, got it. Love it. Amazing. Yeah. But this is a fun one you can do with the kids too and get them involved. I yeah. love getting kids involved in the kitchen because they're more apt to cook for you when they get older. That's what I said. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So you're just going to pat that in there. It's going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 22 to 25 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. Just like this little and we baby. Have a beautiful one here. This looks so good. And also, one giant cookie, much better than a bunch of tiny cookies. Yeah. And how much fun is this? So we have a cream cheese frosting. Okay. I know. So we've got mostly butter in there. Of course. A cream cheese frosting is mostly butter. That's a good thing. A little bit of cream cheese. Again, a little bit of lemon uh, extract to amplify that lemon flavor and layer up all those flavors. You're just going to spread it out and have a bit of fun. You go as thick or as thin as you want with that icing. It looks like we're going thick. I'm going so thick. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, you can't sorry, give guys. me a, a spatula and tell me to go thin on icing. Now, we're using an offset spatula mm -hmm. here, but if you don't have one of those, don't go out and buy one. Just use the bottom of a spoon. You can heat it up in a little bit of hot water, which will also allow that uh, spreading to be easy. But if the if it's at room temperature, oh. you'll have no problem. What is it like? And then you get to eat this. Which I know. Is I already Wait, fingers. you know what? I haven't even done it. <laughs> Let's give this to Alicia, because she did all the work on that dinner. It's like when you're making mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. Oh, that is good. Was I supposed to lick it or Oh, like yeah, no, you did it exactly oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I started over here. Oh my gosh, look how cute! So you can pick whatever you know, little. Well, I call them. I call these guys Jimmies. I do call them Jimmies They're too. Jimmies, yeah, right? These yeah, are okay. non-pareils, yeah. which sounds very fancy, but it's just a little ball sprinkles. Love but where that. do you get your sprinkles typically? Because oftentimes for like yeah. these like themed sprinkles, you don't want to buy the giant bag of them. You know what? I'm a fan of any bulk store. Yeah. Because you can buy exactly what you want and totally. then they don't go to waste. Beautiful. Uh, and yeah, because th then they're just going to end up in your baking drawer and tufted in the back. And, yeah. and then your husband tries to organize in the baking drawer and he's like, can I throw these out? And I'm like, no, I might need them one day. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> or you're really desperate for something sweet and you're like in there with a little tea teaspoon. Has just eating, done that? Eating, I don't know. eating sprinkles? Just me? Yeah, All no, right. I've done it too. All right, so we take this baby and then... Could you break it up? Is it cutting? What are we doing? I, I would cut it only because of the amount of icing we put on there. Okay. But you could break it up. You could use little cookie cutters, heart shapes to make heart shapes if you wanted to do that. Beautiful. Uh, but these are a ton of fun, and I'm telling you, these will not last very long. They feel absolutely. Are they tender? They are tender. Yeah. They are delicious. I'm going to let these two little lovebirds share a plate. <laughs> there you go for you, too. And then we are going to dig into these yes, we babies. Are. All right. Cheers to you guys. Happy oh, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. You can chocolate that up. Oh my gosh, that's a delight. Well, Alicia and Michael, I know you have stepped up your cooking game in recent days, thanks to Andrea. But if you're still looking for a date night out, we're sending you home with a $200 gift card to Joey's Restaurant. There you go. You can handle that one, right? You got it. All right, enjoy. You do happy Valentine's Thank Day. You. Great, great job. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.